When I'm alone in my room, sometimes I stare at the wall. And in the back of my mind, I hear a fragrance call. Telling me I need a scent that's as sweet as a dove. And for the first time in my life, I see I need love. There I was, giggling about the games. That's enough. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, L. L. Cool Trey. Trey Belafonte. Uh, just plain old Trey sense. You can call me Trey. Y'all, come on in. Come on in. Have a seat. Have a seat. You can tell by the title we finna get into something interesting, deep, and good. Listen, we are on our way again in August. Thank you so much for making July the most successful month in this channel's history. I greatly appreciate it. Salute to you. Big ups to you. Thank y'all for checking in everywhere from Brooklyn, New York, uh, New York City, all the way over to the state of Washington, Omaha, Nebraska checked in. Uh, Florida has checked in. GA has finally checked in. Alabama's been checking in. Um, Memphis TN has been checking in. Dallas, the whole DFW has, has checked in. Y'all continue to check in with your boy and let me know where you're watching this videos from. I think South Africa checked in. Oh man, somewhere else overseas checked in. A lot of places have checked in. Y'all continue to check in. Um, I also, please, um, mine just went blank. Oh, please consider liking this video, sharing this video, and if you haven't, sub to the channel. The sub count uh, grew almost 400 subs in the month of July, so let's keep that rolling. And also, before I get into this video, JB Butters is running a sale this weekend. So go over to JB Butters on Facebook and get some information there. If you don't want to go to www.jbbutters.com, he's doing a sale where you get um, buy three, you get the fourth butters free. Something about you'll have to sign up for uh, an email, so I guess it'll be like a newsletter. And when you do that, when you put the fourth, when you make your fourth selection, it'll send you a special code to use, and you'll get that fourth one for free. But if you don't understand what I'm saying, go to JB Butters Facebook and look it up, and he will explain it all to you. But JB Butters is running a sale: buy three, get one free. It's a great opportunity for you to get your hands on some JB Butters. Now, enough of that to what you came here for. Five fragrances from my collection, and I could have did 55, that I wish they had made an elixir to, or that I hope they make an elixir to. Elixir's the new thing, and I think all of these would be banging, banging if they made an elixir version. And then I'll tell you what I think they should do to make it an elixir. From the house of Polo, one of my favorite fashion brands, it is Polo Red Extreme. So this would be Polo Red Extreme the Elixir. So what I think they should do, stick with the black bottle, but take the black and fade it into red, kind of gradient like. Now this fragrance is known for its sweetness and its coffee note. So what I think they should do to make this an Elixir, tone down the sweetness and turn up on the coffee and I think that would make this and then lick and of course a higher um, parfum concentration uh, well a higher concentration of parfum and I think it would be banging I think that would be a banging scent tone down on the sweetness a little bit amp up the coffee make it a little bit deeper and a little bit richer and you would have polo red extreme Elixir, and I think that would be dope. So, from the house of Polo, now, this is a good smelling fragrance. I absolutely love this fragrance, man. That's really good. That that's that's really good. That's really good. But again, it is a very very sweet fragrance, and I like the sweetness in it. But I just think it would go better as an elixir if the sweetness was toned down just a little bit, and that coffee note amped up, banging. So, the first one that I wish they made an elixir version for is Polo Red Extreme. 
That even sounds good. Polo Red Extreme D Elixir. This next one is from one of my favorite houses. And this is a scent that I got for next to nothing because of some coupons that I had at TJ Maxx. And it is from the house of Hugo Boss. And it is Hugo Boss The Scent Private Accord. So this one would actually be Hugo Boss The Scent Private Accord Elixir. And I know Hugo Boss is dropping some banging fragrances right now in that bottled line that are pretty, pretty good. This one. Oh my goodness. That is so good. That is phenomenal. That is so, so good. One of the sexiest fragrances that I have in my collection right here. It, this. What well, it smell better than a bag of money right there. Oh my goodness. And this red is holding its own too. It's not no slouch either, but. Okay, what I would do to this one is I would amp up that cacao. I sound like Method Man. I would amp up that cacao and uh, that's it. I would leave everything else like it is, but I would tone up that cacao. Of course, make it a higher perfume concentration, which means less alcohol, more perfume to make it an elixir. And I would leave it at that with this one. I don't I don't think it needs a whole lot. I am so proud of this fragrance. I'm so proud of you, Curtis Mayfield. I'm so proud. And Drake, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so. <sighs> but that's just a great smelling fragrance. To me, this is fall in a bottle. This smells like fall, sweater, hoodie, and my goodness, it just smells mature and fancy and just, just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. But this is another one that I wish they made in an elixir. So it would actually be called Hugo Boss, the scent private accord elixir. I think that would be dope. I really do. I think that would be dope. This next one, woo -wee. I'm gonna switch these around so I can get to this one. This next one is one of my favorite fragrances. And um, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, Prada Black from the house of Prada. It is Prada Lunarosa Black, and it would be Prada Lunarosa Black Elixir. What y'all think about that? And I hadn't worn it in so long, I've got to prime it to get it to spray. I think this was one of the last. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's here. Fragrances that I found in a rack store. I found this at Burlington. And I was just like, is that Prada Black? And I was excited to find it. Maybe overpaid a little bit for it because I paid 50 bucks for it, but I like it. Hmm, so how would I make this one an elixir? What would I do to this Prada Black? Would I tone down the iris and maybe amp up the spices in it to make this Prada Lunarosa Black Elixir or Prada Lunarosa Elixir Black? This is just so good. This is so good. This is a hit or miss fragrance with the ladies though. I've worn this, I wore this on the first date and the young lady could not stop sniffing me and um, being all over me and telling me how good I smell. And then I've worn it around some girls and they're just like, you smell good, but don't wear that again it, because it's too spicy. And, you know, maybe I went a little, a little, a little ham on the sprays, but um, nonetheless, I like it. I really do. So how would I turn this one into an elixir? I'm going to turn, turn up the spices for sure. Make it a little bit darker. So it's really truly a black fragrance. Maybe add something to it to make it a little bit earthier. Um, 
tone down the iris just a hint tone up the spices and add something to it to make it earthier and then we would have Prada Lunarosa Black Elixir I think that would rock man I'm smelling good up in here this next one I'm gonna save what I think is the best for last this next one I'm really shocked that they haven't made an elixir somewhere down this line. Okay, so the, the, the company or the brand is Azaro. The line is part of the Wanted line. And this is Wanted Parfum. So I guess what they would make is either Most Wanted Elixir, Wanted by Night Elixir, so I really just chose this one to be choosing one because they could go with either one of them. They could make the most wanted elixir. Uh, they could make the most wanted parfum elixir. I mean, there's so many different different fragrances. Uh, maybe they should... Should they make just wanted elixir? Maybe they should just go with the original wanted elixir. But we're going to go with this one for the sake of video purposes. Hmm. And that boss bottle of the scent is, is really is really acting up, man. It is cutting up. So we're gonna go with wanted parfum. Not most wanted, but wanted parfum. Mm. Can you tell I'm enjoying this video just a little bit? So how I would turn this beautiful Christmas ornament into an elixir? Very simple. Whatever that chocolatey, burnt, ashy, resinous smell that's in this, I'm amping that up. We need to turn that mother up. And whatever is giving it that sweetness, we need to turn up. Amp up the, the burnt ash, amp up the sweetness. And I think you got a really, really, really interesting combination of a fragrance. And I would call it Wanted Elixir. So it would be Azaro's Wanted Elixir. Yeah, not most wanted, not wanted by night. Just this is because this is the perfume. So maybe it would be Azaro. Wanted Parfum Elixir. How does that sound? What do y'all think about that? I think that would be dope. I think it would be fly. I really do. I think that would be fly. Mm. I'll tell you somebody else, and this is for free, who needs to make an elixir. Can you see my Valentinos up there? Any of those Valentinos, man. Valentino born in Roma Elixir. Uh, how about Valentino one more intense elixir that would be dope too boy that would be real dope but the, yeah that's exactly what I would do that that gingerbready burnt resinous sweetness that's in this let's turn that up let's turn it up to five and then we're gonna have Azaro's wanted Perform elixir and this next one I'm really surprised that they haven't made an elixir for because I think it would be stupid I think it would be out the roof I think it would would, would be what Fragcom is waiting on and I think it would be if they did it correctly which the way this brand does fragrances they would only do it correctly from the house of Chanel it is blue de Chanel and I think they should turn this into an elixir. So we would have Blue de Chanel Elixir. Now you could pick either the EDT, the EDP, or the Parfum. I like the EDT best of them all. They, they're all, all three is good. But this is just so versatile. So versatile. I almost hate to change it. And then I'm wondering as I sit here, Blue de Chanel Elixir sounds amazing, but how would I do it to keep it 
different from Blue D Chanel, the EDP, and Blue D Chanel, the Parfum. That's the million dollar question. I like this one because it is so easy. It is so easy to wear and it is so simple. But yet so complicated. That's just really, really nice. Mm, 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 mm. Very high quality fragrance, even for a toilet concentration, because this is the EDT. Now again, I have the EDP and I have um, the Parfum, but this is just Chanel. It's just a good fragrance house. But how would I do this one? I would turn up the incense. And then when I say that, it makes me wonder, like turning up the incense, does that, um, um, does that turn it into the EDP or the Parfum? Hmm, feel like something's crawling on my neck. Must be a hair. But this is just an easy to wear fragrance. It's a compliment getting fragrance. I would definitely make it a little bit stronger, a little bit bolder. And I think the way that I would do that is simply turning up some of the slightly, I go slightly up on the incense. I go a little bit deeper on whatever that is that gives it that blue aspect. I don't know if that's Ambroxan or Isoe Super, but oh my goodness. I just got a whiff of that uh, Prada Black. Man, I remember now why I love that fragrance. I mean, everything I sprayed on is smelling amazing. And I get wafts of it every time I move. So it's just like something else catches my, my nose. Mm -hmm. This is so well made, so well made. But I would, I would turn up the incense in this slightly, add maybe a kiss of fruit. Um, and then I would try to get that blue to be a deeper, darker, richer blue. And that's what I would do to make Blue D Chanel and Elixir. And this would simply be Blue D Chanel, the, the Elixir. And I think that would be a great selling fragrance. I think people would rush out to get it as soon as they heard about it. <sighs> that's just good, guys. That is, that's really good. This was a fun video to shoot. I enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy it too. Um, and with that being said, I'm going to get off of here, edit it, get it up so you guys can see it. Again, I want to thank you all so much for making the month of July such a successful month, man. It really warms my heart because I'm going to say this and then I'm going to let you go. There are times for us small time reviewers where we question who's watching. Is it worth it? You know, does anybody care? You know, it, it, it gets hard sometimes, you know because we are men and we are competitive and we can't help but peek at other other channels. And I'm gonna say this, I've been doing this for quite a while. I've seen a lot of reviewers come in with pretty much my style. And I say my style because they came after me and review fragrances just about exactly the same way I review them to the T and then they shoot right past me. But it is what it is. I wish everybody success, love, and happiness. So I have no jealousy or no envy towards anybody, but we can't help but to, to peak. It just makes me think, you know, go harder, try harder. So the success and the love that you guys have shown over the last month, man, it's been great. So let's keep it, let's keep it going. And I got love for anybody out there doing anything that they love and positive. If you putting positive energy out there in the universe, I'm all for it. Um, that's just me. I'm all for it. I don't care if you collect jelly beans. If you're passionate about it, let's go. Let's get it. Be the best jelly bean collector that you can be. So, But anyway, now that I've said that, I'm going to get off of here. Thumbnail this. Edit it. Get it up so you can see it. Happy Saturday. I'm going to pick up some fragrances tomorrow. Not quite sure how I'm going to bring them to you. It'll be eight new fragrances into the collection. But instead of doing one video, I think I'm going to do eight separate videos so 
more content, more content, more content. But listen, I love you all. May God bless you all. Until next time, guys. Peace. Check in with your boy, Alabama in the house, and we standing on business.